Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. Let's go. That was too close. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. They did, and you deserve their help. I can sense something in you. You're special. I like to think so. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. 
And you just now got enough to buy your freedom. More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope, and now it's gone. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master, and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names! You're wasting my time! Give me a moment to explain. That's close enough to begging for me. Fine. Speak. There's a man who paid you for his freedom. He'd like you to follow through on that promise. Hmm... Doesn't sound familiar. But I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this faith on his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves. But the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Fedon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child? An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates.
Is there something you need? Thanks for stopping by. I'll take 
kill her for when goes free. That means Odessa dies, and I help the cult. I can't stay in one place. Cassandra, I haven't seen you since you took me to the ruins of Odysseus. Odessa, you remember? What's wrong? You have a look about you. It feels weird saying this to you, but someone wants me to kill you. That's nothing new to me lately. Now, where were we? Ah, I was surprised you remembered me. Of course I do. You told me to stay home with my family. Seems like you're doing that. Not by choice. You asked if I wanted to be remembered or to be happy. Well, taking care of my sick father does not make me happy. No wonder you're upset. You want to be out exploring, but you're stuck here instead. I'm glad somebody gets it. If you don't like it, do something about it. Not until my father is better. I need to get a couple of things for him. Maybe you could help me. Don't worry, I'm here to help. What do you need? A few herbs from the Valley of King Lelech nearby. Also need a mixture from the market to combine with the herbs. There's a merchant there holding on to it for me. Is your father really so sick you can't get them yourself? I'm his only child. I'd rather be close by, in case he gets worse. Do you know what's wrong with him? No, only that he's not getting better. The mixture and herbs I need may help with the pain, at least. If he dies, all his land will be yours, right? Yes, but I'd sell it anyway. What better reason to leave everything behind and truly begin my quest, like Odysseus? What's your connection to Odysseus? I'm a descendant of his. I'm named after him, too. Stay by your father. I'll be back with the herbs and the mixture. So this I need. That merchant should be the one Odessa mentioned. Tell your friends, tell your family! The best wares Drachmi can buy. Even mercenaries like you can find something. Odessa sent me. Ah, of course! Sweet girl. I wish she had stopped by herself. This is for her father, I imagine? I'll take the payment and you can be on your way. Here, take it. Quick sales are my favorites. I hope this helps Odessa.
What is it? I killed the woman. Wonderful. I don't know why the slave is so special to you. Perhaps you wish to keep him as your own. He's free, then? Yes, yes, he's free. You purchased him with the life of another. A fair trade. Now leave before I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> One less evil you want. If a farmer steals the food to them, but gives some of his crop to the poor to borrow, who may decide if he's good, huh? Ah! <sighs> 